So this is one piece of artwork that's mine. It's the face of a female. Um, it's not supposed to represent anything too much except nightlife. Um, back behind her in the background is a lines of colour which represent sort of the stark and you know the different kind of lights that you can see um, at night. Um, it also represents busyness, busy city area. And so um, that's sort of the kind of scene that you expect this person to be visiting or living in. Uh, the face has a lot of uh, line and contour. I'll just close up on it. As you can see, there, there are different sweeping motions with the brush that cover the brow and the cheeks, and even the neckline and the jaw of the face. And of course the hair is just curled with uh, alternating colour tones and line in order to get this um, wonderful curve. Um, the lips are painted a very loud red. They used to be pink, but I decided to um, paint them red just to make them stand out more and uh, make it a little bit more showy. Uh, the eyes, uh, I put a little bit more black around the eyes. I, I did have them as just simple eyes without any black on the rims. Um, but I decided to dress up the eyes because I felt as though they were lacking. Uh, this face is a little awkward. The eye to the right here does um, slant a little bit, um, but I, I believe it sort of suits the sort of abstraction that's supposed to be represented in this artwork anyways. It just adds an interesting touch to it. The nose is something which I thought was rather daring. I didn't feel at first I had the right shape in the nose. So I made it out, I outlined the nose to make it stand out. And I used alternating lines. As you can see, there's a line that sharply curves up from the corner of the nose in order to show off the line and the shape of the nose. That's something I've never done in artwork. Usually I just do the little rim line at the bottom. But I believe that this additional line has been a su successful one. And there is something that I do like about the teeth. They sort of just sit behind the, the, the ruby red lips. In, uh, as a sort of um, secondary item. And I, I, I do like how it's sort of been blended to sh show it off as, as though it's a shadow inside the lips. That's one thing that I do like about that. I think this painting is quite attractive. There's a lot to see in it. It keeps your eye busy. There's a lot of line, a lot of color. And even the eyebrows are interesting. They have sort of a tiger pattern look to it because they've been dotted with, uh, with black tints. 